I spent 400 days in a medieval rim world. world. Can I craft a melee god, decimate the empire, and forge the best armor and weaponry? I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. Welcome back to 300 days here in medieval rim world. So where we last left off, we were just dealing with this raid here, and we constructed this castle. Not only that, we have 18 people with cats here, our new recruits, so we will continue expanding. I would also like to see if we can take out the empire here. There are a few settlements we can kill, so let's see. But other than that, let's just continue. All of our corpses and food are rotting. It's 28 Celsius in here, and Tony doesn't have his ice crystal ability. Uh, so much rot stink. Please do not go in there. A prison break on Cat, but we have word of pain on Tony. We also have a shower of meteorites here. Coal ore, mithril. Huh. Even with word of pain, she isn't getting downed. New recruit cat. Welcome aboard, Soul Eyelight. You will become, as I said, the best Milius this planet has ever seen. We will have you equip the legendary glittered full plate armor. I think I would like to make armor out of this mithril as well. And you will also become a Psycaster, Soul Eyelight. We're also going to expand upon the castle even further. So this whole section. Then I think I want to make all of this indoors. Growth moment for Iceman. Well then, these are the skills and passions I'm going for him. So I got a shuttle crash quest here, and one of those people had this legendary katana here. So of course, Soul Eyelight will equip this thing. And a raid now from subjects. Once again, let's take them out to groups. They will prepare for a while, so one group will be insta-dead. Ooh, they have guns, but that doesn't matter. Well then, ravage them, Soul I Light, I want to see your capabilities. Yeah, they're all fleeing. Not a single one of them stands a chance. Productivity is fully underway. It's very nice to see. So yeah, we're currently making the best armor in the game, or at least I hope so. So that will be this adorned armor. I've also replaced the inner recreational room here with steel tiles. We have so much steel, so I thought, why not? Looks much better now, eh? Well then, we've started making adorned great helms, and this is how we look like. I think I'm going to have Soul I Light level up a bit more, and then her and a few Miliists can solo the empire in this village here. I know they're neutral, but we want to conquer some of these factions. You can't believe it's been the ice age. It's currently 35 celsius and we are almost done here with the castle. I'm not sure how to expand it even further. It is becoming ridiculously large. More marriages underway, just happiness among the colony. We have a loot trader with a bunch of good weaponry I'm going to buy. This is very, very good. Well then, this is all that I'm trading. Let's see how powerful we will be now. The good thing is we've been getting rid of a lot of items. Our wealth is not really breaking 300,000. We also have a side cast here called Craft Time Skip, which should instantly craft this item here. So then, the full set of adorned armor here looks absolutely insane. And everybody will look like this eventually. Yeah, castle wall is completed, so let's seal off all of this. We need to expand the interior now. I'm researching into this arcane tech here, getting arcane lightning. And I would also like to have a permanent freezer here. A random shuttle crash in our castle. I need a new human raid here because our food stockpiles are low. Anyways, we've leveled up quite a lot now. Now, so what I want to do is destroy the divine order here. I want to try to test out to only kill this settlement with a few meleeists. A new raid here from Bushy Party. Okay, huge group, 116. Well then, let's try out our new weaponry on them. This is hell. What is going on? <laughs> I 
<laughs> they're all fleeing. Oh my decimation. Yeah, I don't think a single raid can stop us. We were just out in the open and barely took any damage. Well, then, Malarkey is also a necromancer, so we should be able to get some skeletons. If there is another raid, we can just resurrect some corpses, although we will eat everyone here. We also have an ability called consume corpses here. Let's see what this does. We get bodies consumed here and each body consumed increases a maximum neural heat by one. We will also improve all the bedrooms now by installing sandstone towels. Looks much better. So I would like to go out in caravan, but the problem is that the people have everything loaded up and then they just wander about. They don't go out of the map. So the caravanning system is a bit scuffed in this game. It doesn't really work. I've tried all that I can, but the people just won't go out of the map. Strange. Ah, Dragsa has reached the age of seven. Our kids are growing up. Well then, this is what I'm going for her. So initially you only form one person with the caravan and then you just add people to the caravan uh, like this afterwards. So now we will try to take out the divine order. Great. Well then, good thing I fixed that. Go off you two. Great. So Lilight is death resting, so she will not be participating. Well then, we've researched a lot here, but I'm going to go for mining here. We do have a quarry, but I want to see other ways of getting resources. We need way more metals to craft all of this armor. So many shuttle crashes in the middle of our castle. So Malarkey here has obviously sacrificed some fingers to resurrect pawns. So someone in the comments said that I could amputate her arm in order to, yeah, regrow her arm instead. Let me try that. Okay, here, so we have removed her left shoulder but her left pinky and thumb are still sacrificed. There is absolutely nothing you can do. Well then, we're at the divine order, so let's attack them. Let's see here. <laughs> this should be very easy. Oh, they have some very good weaponry though. A very nice map here. My goodness, this looks lovely. Yeah, they're all fleeing, but you're not escaping. Kill this. <laughs> Absolute destruction. Hmm, got a pretty good possessed storm hammer here. Pretty good weapons we can take home. We should have brought some animals to take all of this loot. Anyways, this is all that I'm bringing. I would like to attack the empire here, but we don't have enough storage, so go home. But now I know our capabilities. And now our raid from the Divine Order. Well, they saw what we were doing and wanted to kill us. Okay, one group is fleeing, although we are very hurt. Okay, we've coagulated everyone. Very easy way to tend. And two people here, of course, can take out the entirety of the rest of the group. What the hell? 46 humans in there. <laughs> the two monsters are hunting. Okay, Sacred has been shot to death somehow. Well, we can just resurrect her, whatever. So there are 46 humans stuck in here. I don't know what's going on, probably a bug. <laughs> and they just exploded. And they're all fleeing. Two people can solo them. That is, I mean, Soli Light is the best pawn in the game. Anyways, Malarkey, uh, Sacred has died. Sacred got shot right in the heart. <laughs> and Sacred is alive, but Malarkey has sacrificed one more finger. Well then, healing up quite nicely here, but we have lost a few more limbs, which is not ideal. And Caravan is back from the plundering. Nice. We also got the sacred tablet here, and when researched, we should get their armor. So now we can research this thing right here. Although I don't think this is better than the adorned armor that we have. It seems to be slightly better, but nothing too noticeable. Well then, we've 
researched mining. Let's see if we can get more resources. So what we need is a mine shaft. Let's test this out. Here we go, the wooden mine shaft. So let's see here, you can mine iron ore, silver ore, and a bunch of gems. Well then, Lynx Lover mining at the mine shaft. I've set it up to get sapphire, and there we go some free gems yeah we will need a lot of resources from here the good thing about the mine shaft is you get the guaranteed resource that you desire instead of a randomized resource out of the mini quarry i will need the sapphire here so i can make a frost pylon which will make this into a freezer instead of me having to cast side casts in here to keep this area cool i would also like you to check out our colonists they all have this adorned helmet so they look like crusaders we truly have have built the perfect army. Ooh, a new raid here from Neanderthals. Only one group, and there is 122 of them. Well then, I would like to see if Solite Light could solo this. You might think it's insane, but I will promise you, she will solo all of them alone. So far, so good. Barely any damage taken. Okay, she's starting to take a little bit of damage, which is not ideal. Yeah, Soli Light has gained three silent levels from this. And, uh, well, how many corpses has she killed? 50 humans. Yeah, I mean, she is unstoppable. Literally unstoppable. Uh, some of them seem to be bogged. They're stuck up on this corner here. But they should flee soon. One by one, they cannot do a single thing. I didn't know we created a monster. <laughs> His head got chopped off and the rest of them are right here. Kill them all. Yeah, they are all fleeing. Somehow, uh, she has soloed the entire raid. That is very interesting. They're, they're all dead. Uh, Solai Light took barely any damage. No red body part. And her kills? 113 human kills. Damage dealt 14,000. Good job, Solai Light. Very good job. Except her armor got depleted, which is not good. Okay, Solai Light, I have another purpose for you. You will go out into the world and try to kill as many factions as possible. That's your plan. So we will train you up a little bit more and then you will head out you will survive on human meat you will survive on the people you destroy so i've also researched some arcane defenses so we will have like magical pylons defending the base we do have some castle embrasures so maybe place this behind them ah spring has finally arrived it's the last day of winter but now we don't have to struggle with food Ooh, a too deep infestation and Kagraf and Dragon Ruby are getting married in here. This is one of the weirdest things that has happened. Well, I don't want to interrupt it, so let's see what happens. Yeah, this is uh, not the greatest. Growth moment for Iceman. He is 10 years old. Time passes by so quickly. Well then, we have another loafer hunt quest here, which I want. They have this size sensitive gene, which I would really like to get for our Psycasters. So Solai Light will do that. We also have another quest here to guard 9 prisoners for 14 days. And there will be 2 raids of roughly this size. So I will accept this for the rebirth potion, which, well, resurrects you and adamantite for the armor. Well then, here are the prisoners. Well then, we've arrived here at the Lofer Hunt. Uh, 
Uh, that was quite quick. <laughs> So when Solai Light has her Psychic Frenzy here, which increases melee attack damage, then her blade deals 62.8 melee damage on average. Butcher this thing up and move on. Okay, and we got the Genie Pack here with Psy Sensitive. So in Medieval Rimworld, we can just consume this and she should have that. And now her Zero type is quite different. Let's see how this defense pylon works. Oh. Yeah, uh, I mean, that is better than nothing. So our own little turrets here made out of magic. Yeah, we're definitely installing these everywhere. We've also replaced the bone walls that we had previously here with sandstone. I'm not sure how to expand this even further. I mean, the castle is large enough as it is. The thing is that I don't want to expand if I do not fill in the indoor area here. I need to get creative and start placing something down. And Solai Light is back after the hunt. Welcome. I've also started replacing the torches here. The wooden torches with the glowstone. So apparently, torches here lag out the game a little bit because of the ticks for refueling the torches. Anyways, we have two wooden frost pylons in here, so it is minus 24. Never have to worry about the temperature in here again. Well then, here's the raid from the quest here. So just 51 humans on our two groups. And they're all fleeing. There is one more raid coming, which shouldn't be too difficult. Well then, here's the second raid from the bushy party for the quest. One large group this time, 112 of them. Dragon Ruby destroying them. I mean, the firing squad is good enough on its own. Oh, what the hell? Tornado? Ah, oh, this wind beast here that died spawned a tornado. Hm. Uh, Dragon Ruby? He just uh, randomly died. Yeah, that can happen. Uh, but the quest here that we accepted it for... Uh, right here, we will get a rebirth potion, so she will be resurrected. I usually am devastated by deaths, but magic keeps us alive. We've also started to smelt down the apparel from all the raiders. This is a very efficient way to get resources. And then we will craft more adorned armor with it black hive attack oh no a bunch of insects my what is soul i like doing she is destroying them Oh no, these mammoth worms are destroying Solite Light. Oh, we're taking quite some damage. It's time to retreat. We do not want Solite Light to die. Yeah, she... I don't know what's happening to Soul Light Light. She has become too powerful. This kill skip ability or whatever it's called. It's OP. Let's see here. Kill skip. Teleports to the target and executes a melee strike. If the target is killed, teleports to the next closest enemy at no cost and attacks again. Okay. Keep on. Keep on doing it. 
This is wonderful. They, they are all dead. Now, the good thing with Solai Light is she has smack Psy Focus. And that is because her blade here will restore 20% of the Wilder Psy Focus after every kill. So she has unlimited Psy Focus, essentially. Let's just make Solai Light more powerful than she is now. Well, then, butchering up all the bodies here. We will soon complete the quest. And then we can resurrect Dragon Ruby here. It's unfortunate that she had to die. More rare thrombos. Let's one shot these. Yeah, getting ganged up by six thrombos, but Solai Light can just demolish them. Not even a challenge. Another raid. Well then, every Milius can deal with this. Okay, Sacred has been beaten to death. Uh, for some reason, she was all the way out here. So we have to resurrect these two now with the quest reward. Ah, uh, that is very strange, but kill them all. Yeah, one group is instantly flick. What is Soul I Light doing? Yup, all of them. Oh, oh, that is so satisfying. Six in a row. The shuttle for the quest here has also arrived. So yeah, we need to get this done as soon as possible and resurrect Sacred and Dragon Ruby. Well then, we have completed the quest. So here we go. Our reward finally. We will have to use Rebirth Potion here straight away. And Dragon Ruby has been resurrected. And Sacred has been resurrected, so now we're back to normal. I could have resurrected her with Milarki, but her fingers are already getting all sacrificed. A group of poor children are approaching looking for help. The children are begging for 70 herbal medicine. Now you need to lower your standards. Somebody needs to put them in their place. The demon is coming for them. Kill all of these ungrateful kids. Yeah, kids, you are all dead. Nobody can escape us. <laughs> oh, all the kids are just dead. Um, I was not supposed to do that. Why did I kill a bunch of kids? Oh, well, more human meat. Amongst the stockpile of human meat, insect meat, bone soup, pelts. There's just some children here. And now Drags has reached the age of 10. Well then, this is what I'm going for her. A new raid from the Black Plane Pact. Yeah, one group is getting destroyed, and the other ones should die very quickly. Yeah, they're all fleeing. Well then, I had Dragon Ruby go out to take care of this because Solai Light did not work. Couldn't caravan her out. And what we have here is the Empire in their castle. So we are all the way over here. Well, Dragon Ruby can solo this. Yup, here we go. Kill them all. Uh, we just took way too much damage. Yeah, this is not good. There's no way we're taking them all out if uh, we get hurt like this. We're already down to... No, oh, no, this is horrible. Uh, please get the hell out of here. Yep, just escape through the window. Uh, get the hell out. Uh, I will have Solai Light come back, but it seems a bit bogged. I will have to try to caravan her. Well then, this time got the caravan to work, so Solai Light is on their way to demolish them. Okay, Dragon Ruby is back after that defeat. Only Solai Light can take care of something like that. Well then, we've arrived at the Empire, so time to demolish them. Well then, Solai Light against the whole castle. Who will win? 
Okay, let's see how this plays out. Oh, a very nice village here. Soul I Light will show no mercy. No kid or adult in this village can escape. Imagine you're chilling in your bed and Soul I Light just demolishes you out of nowhere. What is this? A golden grand meditation throne so this thing is worth 31,000 silver i will have to deconstruct that for the gold and there we go the base has been destroyed what a graveyard what is this an ancient reliquary hmm a striker what is this for weapon oh well let's loot this whole place up bunch of golden great swords 15,000 oh we have a bunch of demon blood potions here so this thing is like luciferium well it will make soul eye light better so let's get addicted to it we should be able to have a good stockpile of it so here we go now the problem is that there's so much loot here but i only have soul eye light to bring all the loot back but this is kind of awkward i wanted to bring all of this back home Okay, 1,500 gold out of that. Um, this place is immensely rich. Okay, this is what I'm bringing home. I'm able to bring all of the gold, which is quite nice. 1,500 gold, I mean, <laughs> that's insanity. That was very fun. Well then, Soul I Light is back with all of this loot. Yeah, we're wealth all of a sudden shot up to 430,000. A manhunter pack here, full of manhunting man traps. Okay, bunch of Venus fly traps. Oh, they are um, shooting something. Uh, they are de demolishing us. I did not expect it to go this way. We're almost dead. Okay, we need to save Nolt, Kami, and Lynx Lover. Okay, please, for goodness sake, you're getting destroyed. Okay, our rep, uh, you have water skip here. Please extinguish those fires. Those man traps have corroded our people. Another too deep infestation, but Solai Light will deal with this. Well then, we've also researched arcane weapons. So I believe with this, we can make all of these things. Wow, 300 gold. This will be worth it. We have a quest here to provide 8 times gilded armit. And we can get this weapon here, the dragon fire. We will accept this, of course. Well then, we've crafted a sapphire enchanted grimoire. Let me test this thing out. Comes with its own shield. Quite nice. As for power... Quite similar to the Amber Enchanted Grimoire. Nonetheless, keep on making more of these. Well, we've constructed a bit more. More storage here. Our people are just mining. And I'm going to expand in here. Try to furnish up the castle a bit. But other than that, the winter is here once more. We got some caravan animals that we can use when we conquer. Iceman became an adult. He is really all grown up. Well then, these are the skills and traits that I'm going for him. Ah, I cannot believe it. Our first child has truly grown up. Now you can actually fight with us, which is great. You have become quite good. Could do cooking. Finally, a raid from the Black Plain Pact. Okay, two groups. Kill them all. The Miliists will take care of this group. And the Rangers will take care of the one down south. Yeah, I think this one should be quite easy for us.
Yup, they are all fleeing. They are all just dead. Yeah, unironically, no raid in RimWorld can stop this squad. Even 200 people from the Empire cannot make a dent in Soli Light, let alone this whole army. But anyways, it has been 400 days here in RimWorld. So as I said, this army is unkillable, so now we're just doing side quests. There is no real ending to medieval rim world, so all you can do is survive. But I think we will head out with Soli Light and some animals here to destroy more factions, so we will do that. Anyways, thanks to my Patreon members, and if you're bored, and watch this video next.